By the way guys, I have released brand new merch. The Diamonds Are For Peasants t-shirts are now on sb737.store, link down below in the description. They come in two colours, charcoal and white. So get one of the t-shirts whilst you can. Everyone knows Diamonds Are For Peasants, the real pros use netherite. Minecraft Hardcore, but a chunk disappears every single second. Before I could do anything else, I need to collect some wood, gather resources and keep moving. A village up ahead. I need to loot it before all the chunks get deleted. I'm prioritizing the blacksmith. All it has is bread. What a waste of time. Let's grab these furnaces as well. Yeah, things are getting pretty crazy. Oh my goodness, I just... Quick SP. We can survive. Okay. I <laughs> was not expecting that. I'm just going to grab some stone and some more wood. And grab all these hay bales before they disappear. This house has almost been destroyed, but there is still a bed. Let's grab it before we lose it. Let me get this golem before he disappears. There we go. And we got five iron. Perfect. Can now craft loads and loads of bread. That should be me sorted with food for the video. Let's also make an iron pick. Wouldn't it be cool if I could grab some dams? In fact, there's some over there. I'm pretty sure the chunk you're standing in never gets deleted. Unless you crouch over the edge like that, and then that chunk could get deleted. Got a very precariously bridge over. I don't think there was any way across otherwise. They say never dig down in Minecraft. But well, thankfully, I know exactly what's below me, so I don't have to worry about falling in lava. Let's grab these diamonds. Easiest diamonds I've ever got. Upgrade that pickaxe to a diamond one. And now I've got to get out of here. I kind of need iron and fear not, because I could just go in third person and I can see some to the side of me. Seems like my chunk is a little bit stranded. I can use this bridge still, thankfully. But the village, oh my goodness, it's completely gone. It's just you two left, eh? I see destroying the ocean chunks causes a few problems. If I'm going to get anywhere now, I'm going to have to gather up a load of blocks. Let's get the iron smelting as well. Now I can craft a bucket, fill it with water, and I should probably get some sleep. It is getting dark and I have no armor. A shield is probably a good idea too. Now I'm going to mine dirt until this shovel breaks, then craft a brand new diamond one. And I can get dirt way faster now. Glad to see these villagers are still alive. <laughs> Most of the chunks around here have gone. I'm going to have to start bridging to new land. And we have made it to another chunk. This one's got quite a lot of wood to gather up. But the land I've left behind me has just been completely destroyed. I'm going to have to keep moving. Thankfully, I'm getting to an area which has quite a few chunks still left. I see diamonds. I can't say no, I'm going for them. Found some iron on the way down as well. Let's grab these diamonds. It's another four. And I see more over there. Is it worth going for it? There's a little cave here. Maybe it has some iron. It just has you. Get out of here. Let's grab this iron here as well. I'm going to try and strip mine to the diamonds before they get deleted. I've got to be quick. The chunks are getting rapidly deleted. I'm going to have to take a risk here. There we go. If I now get into the chunk, this chunk cannot be deleted. This has to be one of the most intense things I've done. I've got the diamonds. We've got eight in total. Let's get back to strip mining. I'm going to start a bridge to those diamonds now. In fact, there's some below me. Okay, let's get those. Without a doubt, the goal is to get full diamond armor. Okay, that chunk's just gone that I got the diamonds out of. Thank goodness I saved that in time. The chunks are disappearing fast and I am running out of blocks. I need to get up here faster. Hopefully this chunk does not disappear whilst I'm swimming up. I've made it to the top. Now let's get some sleep. I guess I can still kind of swim along the water here because not all of it disappears. That's infinite water sources for you. I think the next thing I need is a diamond axe because I still need a lot more blocks. At this point, it's more of an insurance policy than anything else because I do not want to get stuck between chunks with no blocks left. I see a ruined portal up there. I'm going for it. These chunks are still here, which is good. I have no idea if I'm going to make this. In hindsight, it probably wasn't a good idea to try and climb a mountain to get something like this. I'm on the chunk. Okay, let's get the gold. Although it looks like whatever chest would have been here has already been deleted. It's on the hunt for diamonds. There is some back there, but I don't want to go all that way. Oh my god, I saw some diamonds in the chunk there and it just disappeared as I saw them. There is some over there. Let's get to the chunk before they get deleted. And down we go. Apparently I missed the diamonds. I think they were in the next chunk and that chunk's deleted. But there is more over there. I can try and get to those. This is truly terrifying. Made it to this chunk. Let's grab these diamonds. This one had quite a lot. Look at that, there's even emeralds over there. More diamonds in this chunk. Let's get to it. I wonder how many times I'm going to say chunk before this video is over. This was a beautiful eight diamonds. Let's make boots and a helmet. And now I don't think I really need any more diamonds. So I might as well get out of here. But there is diamonds just there. You know what? We don't have time. Are you kidding me? The chunk just disappeared. I'm trying to get closer and it just keeps disappearing. I wouldn't say that village is doing too well. I think the next thing I need to do really is find some lava. Since I've pretty much already done everything in the overworld. Look at that. A pillager outpost. I'm just going to wait until that gets deleted. There is lava there. That's where we're going. Okay, no, that chunk just disappeared. <laughs> Never mind. We're not going there. We're going there instead. Oh no, these guys are about to shoot me. Okay, I've got to just put water and float my way down. These guys are following me down. Are you kidding me? And of course, way at the bottom of here is a pillager. Ah, well, it's his funeral. What are the chances? At the bottom of here, there was diamonds. This is going to be perfect for collecting obsidian because I'm pretty sure my portal is going to get deleted in the nether. So I'll need a backup plan so I can get back. I'm pretty sure that should be enough obsidian. Nine. Okay, I just want one more. I've decided to get 14 just for insurance purposes. Now let's get this nether portal made. The portal just lit itself because I put wood behind it, but I've got a few things I want to do first. I'm going to smelt some iron. Since I've got time, this chunk is going to be deleted and I'm not coming back here. So whether this whole area gets ruined. It doesn't really matter to me. There's definitely not much of this area left now. I'm going to grab this iron, mine up the furnaces and get to the nether. Oh my goodness, we are in a bastion. Okay, this is very, very good. 
but I need to get in this bastion before the chunks disappear. Let me put this helmet on quickly. It looks like we're in housing, so I know where the gold blocks are. They're in this area here, which thankfully hasn't been deleted, and loads more obsidian and string. Perfect. Let's start mining the gold. I've already got four pearls, which is pretty handy. And some fire resistance. I've got loads of pearls. All the pearls I need I've got. That's good news. Soul Speed 3 might be useful too. I'm very happy with what I've got. Now I've somehow got to get out of here and find a fortress. Slowly making my way over. <laughs> There's a lot of chunks missing here. Oh my goodness, they're disappearing so fast. I suppose it is every second, but this is a nightmare. On this chunk, hopefully I can just keep moving and they don't disappear too quick. Although it looks like we are in the middle of nowhere and it's so hard to see. I got very lucky spawning in a bastion. I don't think I'm going to be quite so lucky finding a fortress. I've made it to somewhat solid ground. I suppose I can kind of traverse this. Oh, you are kidding me. Okay, we're only on. We've got to be careful here. Just dig down, lock ourselves in. Get our health back. It's a good opportunity for me to get a few extra blocks as well. Honestly, I have no idea what to do. I've just got to keep moving. As long as I can keep ahead of the chunk deleting, I should be all right. So when I stay in one spot for too long, I end up getting surrounded by empty areas. Are you kidding me? I found another bastion, but ah, that's not going to be any use to me. That means I'll have to travel at least another 300 blocks in this direction to get to a fortress. I really hope that when I find this fortress, the blaze spawner doesn't get deleted. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare. Good thing there's two blaze spawners. At least I get two chances. I also hope I get out of the nether soon, because deleting the chunks with all the lava flowing is making it very laggy. Oh my goodness. I, oh wow, just opened up the chunk for a gas to shoot me. Brilliant. Just for context, I have now travelled a thousand blocks. Still no fortress. But I can now finally make use of these soul speed boots. I guess the extra speed can only help. I've now travelled 1,500 blocks. <laughs> A room portal is all i found. And I just burnt the golden lava. Yeah, this is going from bad to worse. Oh my goodness, another stupid bastion. Finally, okay, I need to get there before it deletes. The chunks are deleting. Please, game, please just do not delete the blaze spawner. There's two of them. Surely one of them's going to be all right. See blaze over here. Still haven't found a spawner. I probably made a mistake coming over here, but there is a lot of blaze. Thank goodness for fire resistance. I'm getting three for three here. I need to get back to that part of the fortress. Although this part of the fortress is, is pretty much gone. Looks like we're just going to have to do this one spawnerless. There we go. Blazer on number four. There's more blaze over there. I nearly fell off, but that guy dropped a blaze rod. Thankfully, blaze are spawning everywhere. Oh my goodness, that was clutch. That was, this is, this is getting too hectic. Do I leave with seven? I think I've got to be brave and try and get a few more rods. Because if I need to find another stronghold because the portal breaks, then I'm going to need a lot of eyes of ender. I've got 40 seconds of fire resistance left. Once that runs out, I'm leaving. Looks like I've just dropped into four, five blazes. This is good. Oh no, wait, I'm, I'm out of stuff. Never mind, this is bad. Let's gapple up and very carefully take these guys out. Another blaze rod. We can get this guy as well. That's a 10th blaze rod. I think I'm happy with what I've got, and I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to craft my 20 eyes of ender. Yeah, that should that should be enough, I think. Let's see what the overworld's got for me. Of course, it's night time. Let's get to sleep. Let's throw this eye. We're going that way, and we just have to keep moving. There's an ocean up ahead. This could be very useful. I have no idea what just happened. But there goes my boat. <laughs> what? How did I survive that? I will never know. Apparently I've gone over the stronghold. Somewhere in this desert, <laughs> namely right here. There's the port. Are you kidding me? Time to find a new stronghold. I could also do we get an extra wool on the way. And some more wood. We're on track for a new stronghold. Are you kidding me? What are the chances of a drowned hitting me with a trident? Stronghold number two has been found. And there's the portal room. i got to get to that chunk before it gets deleted. I'm swimming along. Come on, SP. You got this. We're in. Okay, okay, just don't panic. There we go. Let's get these eyes in. We made it to the end, right? I've got to make it now to the middle fountain bit. How I'm going to defeat this dragon, I have no idea. I may just have to get lucky with the chunks. We have to take out all these towers, I think. From here, that's pretty easy, thankfully. It's perching. Can I Can I do something here? Oh, it should break them all, right? Let's... Oh no, I'm, I've got no beds. I'm, I can't do it. I don't think the chunks have been deleted here. I can take my time and one cycle the dragon. Here she comes. Let's see how we do. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Minecraft beaten when the chunks keep disappearing. Minecraft hardcore. But I have the perfect pickaxe. This pickaxe has the best enchantments possible in Minecraft. With fortune a million, you can get lots and lots of diamonds. And the efficiency means that blocks can now be mined instantly.
This pickaxe will never break, but just in case, it has mending on it as well. So today, we're going to test out this OP tool. How rich can it make you? How quickly can you destroy an entire chunk? And can it defeat Bedrock? The strongest block of them all. Well, that's what we're going to find out. And I'm aiming for 2 million subscribers this year, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. Here we are in the world, and once we finish mining this tree up, we can then begin the quest for some iron. Tell you what I'd like to know, what on earth is a tree doing growing in a ravine? Pretty sure I can make this jump at least. You just never know where trees are going to pop up nowadays. Even in a harsh environment like this ravine, it's still surviving. So in order to get hold of this pickaxe, we are first going to need to get a pickaxe that is the strongest material. And that is a netherite pickaxe. Because let's be honest, if we only had a diamond pickaxe, it wouldn't be the perfect pickaxe then, would it? And then with all the fancy enchantments on, it's going to be unstoppable. Let's replant this tree. <laughs> it's going to be following in the footsteps. I wouldn't normally spend a load of time getting full iron gear, but since we are on hardcore, mode and we need to go to the nether it's probably going to be the safest option there we go i have to say i've got quite a lot of iron might as well make the smithing table now for the netherite now i can craft a bunch of armor there we go put it all on now i can gather up all these things get myself out of here and begin the next task which is to get some food preferably before it goes dark although i've not got much time left quickly grab this gravel there we go got flint i am running past quite a lot of animals but my priority is these guys let's quickly do some shearing i don't really want to stay up the night just need one more piece of wool craft a bed and go to sleep and now I can begin cooking my food. I have 24 pieces of food, that should be enough. But I'm also going to grab a few dandelions for good measure. Since I am going to be searching for netherite, I feel like getting some wool is a good idea too. I've got plenty of wool, I've got plenty of wood. Time to head down one of these caves. And this to me is a pretty amazing looking... Okay, don't set yourself on fire, Esprit. As I was saying, it's a pretty amazing looking cave. In fact, it goes right down to diamond level. I think it would be a smart move to make a shield sooner rather than later as well. The ravine doesn't really go anywhere, so we're going to have to do the old strip mining. Oh, what? Whoa! That was crazy! I literally mined three blocks and there was diamonds. Please tell me it's more than one. It's not one, it's two. Oh, it's beautiful. It's loads and loads of diamonds. With six diamonds, I can easily make a diamond pickaxe. I'm going to save those other three diamonds for later just in case. Since I don't want the pickaxe to break while I'm searching for netherite. Since I couldn't find any lava, I'm having to manually make the portal. Thankfully, with a diamond pickaxe, it doesn't take too long. All right, we have spawned in one of the worst biomes ever, never coming back here again. Originally, there was just one plan, and that was to find netherite. But now there's also another plan to, to not die. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm going to do a fancy little trick here where the boat is on fire, which allows you to fly a bit further. Now let's just carefully make our way along. I basically just want to keep traveling until I get out of this biome. Although gold ore is going to be something useful. The reason for that is that strip mining in a basalt delta is always an absolute nightmare because you're always going through basalt. You're also having to mine through blackstone. This has been a very stressful journey. But finally, there's another biome in sight. Now I can actually start to mine for netherite without fearing for my life. I'm also going to keep collecting gold when I find it, since you need those to make netherite ingots. Now let's begin the bed blowing up strategies. I've also heard from research that using the bed twice in the same place actually reveals a load more blocks really quickly. Although whether that's a worthwhile strategy, I have no idea. Now, oh, look at that. A, a double bed strategy, and it revealed some that wasn't revealed before. Ancient debris, piece number one. Here we come. Looks like it's one down, three to go. Oh, look at this. A bit of mining, and it's now two to go. Make that one to go. And that's the final piece of ancient debris successfully located. I've never tried the double bed method before, but it works pretty well. <laughs> Turns out that revealed too, or I missed this one at some point. There's even more ancient debris. I don't even think I need this. Now we can get out of this destructive place that we've created. I can begin smelting the ancient debris. Place down my smithing table. And now with my four netherite scrap, we can make a netherite ingot. And I think for this, I want to make a brand new diamond pickaxe. And create a brand new netherite pickaxe that when crafted, will be the perfect pickaxe. There we go. And look at that fortune level a million efficiency level a million mending a million and unbreaking a million you know how powerful this thing is yeah pretty powerful but that's only netherrack i think we need to use this on some diamonds i want to see just how many diamonds we get how fast we can mine them it's also worth saying that whilst it does say level a million on all of those enchantments it is still only the equivalent of level 32,767. and that is because without mods you cannot get enchantment levels larger than that number can you imagine if i died now after getting this amazing pickaxe i'm very glad to be back at my portal after that adventure now we can test out the true power of this pickaxe i'll be honest with you guys 
it's pretty fast. I've decided that now is the time I want to begin the very long process of mining out an entire chunk. And this is the chunk that I shall mine. Obviously, this is still going to take a long time, but I'll time myself and see just how long it takes me and let you know. I'm now 28 minutes in and I am getting pretty close to the bottom. If I'd had an efficiency 5 shovel, I probably would have been done by now, to be honest. Whilst the shovel is quite slow, the pickaxe just mines so, so fast. You know, I'm starting to get worried that there isn't a single diamond in this entire chunk. And believe me, <laughs> I've looked. Oh, I found diamonds, finally! Right near the end, right down at bedrock, there are some diamonds. Unfortunately, I have to get rid of this lava to get to them. And there we have it, after 41 minutes, I have successfully mined out an entire chunk in Minecraft. Except for these diamonds. Let's see how many we get with Fortune a Million. How many do you reckon? Okay, that is a lot of diamonds. How many to be exact? We are about to find out. Are you ready for the grim reveal, guys? Well, before I do that, can this perfect pickaxe break bedrock? Well, unfortunately, no. It doesn't matter how much haste or efficiency you've got. You can't break bedrock. That's because the hardness of bedrock is minus one. But here we go. Look at all those diamonds. I can make loads and loads of blocks of diamonds. Oh, look at that. Might as well upgrade my armor. Diamond tools would be nice as well. One thing I do want to check out this pickaxe on is obsidian. Can you imagine if it insta mines obsidian? How fast would that be? So my plan is to go to the end and completely destroy an obsidian pillar. Which normally would take hours and hours, but I don't think it'll take long with this pickaxe. So it is time I built another nether portal. This time the good old fashioned speed run away. I'm sad to say it's taken me straight back to this basalt delta. Mission to find a fortress has been successful. Let's go in and, oh, <laughs> as we're saying, let's go in and get those blaze rods. That is all the blaze rods that I need. You know, I could really do with some gold now. This looks like it should just about be enough. Yeah, <laughs> definitely will be enough. I don't know how many ingots this is worth, but it's well over a stack. Yeah, I've just got over three stacks of gold. That should get me the pearls. Let me tell you now, good sir, this is your lucky day, okay? You're never going to have more gold in your entire life. Let's encase him in a nice little diamond area. Only the best for you, sir. Don't you go in there, you'll just upset him. Prepare to be spleefed, pigman. Well, mission to get pearls has been accomplished. I finally got enough pearls and all the obsidian that I need. So let's get this portal built and go to the stronghold. I don't know why it had to spawn me in the middle of the ocean. There's perfectly good land over there. Although it might be a good idea to sleep with uh, with all those monsters about. According to the eye, we're going that way. Very convenient that there's a village on the way. I might as well steal a load of their beds. And just in case one village wasn't enough, there's another one over there. Since I'm so powerful, I... Might just destroy this guy's house. Yeah, I, I kind of feel sorry for whoever sleeping there tonight. Here we have a useless blacksmith with useless stuff. Oh my goodness, another villager. <laughs> this desert is full of them. Pretty sure this is the spot. Yeah, look at that. The eye's going straight down. Now, you have to be careful when digging down with this pickaxe because you, you will take fall damage if you do too many at once. I accidentally dug past it. <laughs> yeah, just work my way back up. Alrighty, now we can just work our way through this stronghold. We don't have to worry about going through doors. We just, we just mine our way along. What do we have down here? Nothing much. This is just giving me slowness. If the creeper blows up, Look at that, it creates lingering slowness. That's a pretty cool feature. At least it gave myself poison for 30 seconds to see that. Was it worth it? Probably not. And I'm on three hearts and officially out of food. I'm making an emergency trip to the village. And I take back what I said about this being a useless chest. I'm going to steal all their wheat. Now it was nothing but a minor setback. The good news is the portal room has been found. The bad news is there's a stupid ravine between it. I've never seen a stronghold generate like this before. Let's get rid of this. Didn't take me very long. Fill up the eyes of Ender and head on through. I guess we can first see this pickaxe against endstone. Yeah, very powerful. But obsidian. Can it insta mine obsidian? Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh my goodness, yes it can. There is nothing that can stop this pickaxe. Other than bedrock, I suppose. Only creative can defeat bedrock. Now this is how you work your way up to an end crystal. Destroy it. Perfect. The dragon is coming after me. Let's jump on down. Set up this little thing here. And I think it's perching already. I might actually screw this up, but I'll do my best. Oh, no, wait. I... Okay, I'm going to screw this up, guys. I'm telling you now. If I pull this off. I don't know how I'm doing this. Look at that. <laughs> the quick inventory movements. <laughs> well, we beat Minecraft with the perfect pickaxe. The Dream SMP. Dream himself banned anyone from going to the end and defeating the Ender Dragon. This was done to prevent players going and getting the Elytra. If you want to fly, you either need rain and a Riptide Trident, or you need to completely break the game like Fundy did. So today, we're loading up the Dream SMP seed, we are going to find the Stronghold, and we are going to defeat the Ender Dragon. It was really cool exploring this world and finding its hidden secrets. And if you thought that this was a good video, then don't forget to subscribe.
So let's set the world to hardcore, enter in the seed, and create the world. And this is the world. We have spawned in a spruce forest with <laughs> already plenty of food. I'm going to gather up some wood and I'm going to build up and try and work out exactly where I am. And if I'm not mistaken, that is the way to Manberg. And now we can just jump off. I've definitely got my bearings. Over there is where the community house is. And here is where the nether portal is. And if I go this way, it takes me to what I believe is Manberg. I think it used to be Le Manberg, but I think they've changed it. I don't know. I don't keep up with everything that goes on. That's enough exploration. It's time I went and got some tools. And thankfully, this cave has quite a bit of iron. I spent that much time exploring. It's, it's now gone dark. So I feel like the smartest thing to do in this situation is to spend the night at sea. Bit of a pathetic ocean, but there is a lot of iron here. So if I make some doors, place them down, we can collect it. You would actually have to say, this is probably one of the easiest way to get iron in Minecraft. Now that I have 30 iron, we can begin smelting. And now I can make some armor. There we go. And also iron tools. I'm hoping at this point that the night is now over and I can actually get some proper food. Although, no, it's, <laughs> it's still dark. Finally, I have found some food. Oh, and there's quite a lot of it here as well. And I never knew this was here, a pillager outpost. First, I'm going to cook this food, and then we'll go ahead and check it out. I don't know if I want to take out one of the pillager captains, because at some point, I do want to visit a village, and I don't want to ruin their lives. Let's get rid of this guy. There we go. They're all blocked up. They can't get up. The wood's kind of useful. The iron is. I suppose I can make golden carrots later. That's all I'm going to bother with there. Now, time to make a dramatic escape. There we go. You know what? We can get a new bucket of water. I'm going to take out these sheep so I can make a bed later. And I was about to say, begin my quest for a village. There's the outpost, and there is a village. So my main reason behind wanting to find a village is actually not for the usual reason. I don't want to steal their food. I don't want to steal their iron golem. All I want to do is find a cartographer, and then I can go ahead and find a woodland mansion. Although there isn't one here, so I'm going to have to make one myself. To do that, I need three sugarcane. Unfortunately, that's only two. Aha! There's more than enough here. So we make some paper and then make this little cartography table. Now I just need to find a villager who's willing to cooperate. One of you good sirs is going to say goodbye to your leather worker job and become a cartographer. Which one's it going to be? Welcome. All right. What do we have to do? I need, I guess I need either paper or emeralds. It's probably just going to be easy to get emeralds. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but I kind of need the iron. And now I can trade for lots of emeralds. I just realized how long this is going to take me. <laughs> Finally, I can level this guy up. And this time I only need glass to level him up. That's going to be way easier. This is how the pros mine for sand. This should be enough. And now we're going to need redstone to make a compass. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I literally dug down right below the village and found diamonds straight away. Is it only two? Oh, that's a shame. Finally, I have found some redstone. Let's craft a compass and get that map. Okay, villager, I've been to bedrock and back for this map. It better not be too far away. According to the map, I need to go southeast, which is this direction. I know Technoblade went to a woodland mansion, but I have no idea if we're heading to the same one or not. We are now approaching the mansion. There it is over there. Considering it's only 4,000 blocks from spawn, I feel like somebody on the SMP has probably been to this mansion, and that the one Techno went to is completely different. All right, we're breaking in the window. Oh my goodness. I just had all my health crunched by those things. What the heck? They're so powerful. If I can take out this guy, it is going to be an absolute miracle. Oh my god, I'm so weak again. I'm seriously considering just giving up. Three hits from those vexes and you are dead. But don't worry, that's not the SB way. This is going to take every ounce of skill that I have. Come on, SB. He's dead. I got the totem. Let's get out of here. Why is the creepers and everything? Oh no, there's another guy there. Okay, we're all right. Let's just run. Okay, we're on so low. We're so low, but we're running. That was intense. I'm not going there again. Not with just iron armor. But we did get ourselves... The Totem of Undying. And on that bombshell, I'm going to the nether. Who knew mansions were so stressful? This may not look like the greatest place in the world, but my portal is right by a fortress. You just can't write this. Right by a woodland mansion, there was a lava lake, which led to a fortress. I'm in a very bad spot here. There's a ghast over there. There's blaze shooting me. I'm going to go for it and boat off. Piece of cake. The boat can be abandoned. It'll be fine. In fact, it's got a new passenger. I now have plenty of blaze rods. Let's get out of here. Also, a lot of people in the comments always ask me if I would join the dream SMP. If I was given the opportunity, of course I'd say yes. <laughs> what the people involved are achieving with it is insane and it looks really, really fun. But I don't think I'd ever be invited. Me and dream just barely know each other. And I probably wouldn't bring anything to the table that they haven't already got. Like maybe if I got, I don't know, 50,000 views on Twitch or something, I could join, but <laughs> I don't get stuff like that. So. so I wouldn't expect to ever be a part of it. On another note, I finally found a bastion. I can now get my pearls. It appears to be a hoglin stage which can either be really, really good or really, really bad. We're about to find out. Turns out it's really, really good. Whoa, what's angry at me? One of these little fellas. Get out of here. That's it. You now no, go, go back down there. So we build a nice little room just here. Mine this block, mine this gold, and watch the piglins rain down. And chuck it all in there. Also grab this gold here. And enjoy getting very, very rich. Already they've given me pearls. Soul Speed 3, beautiful. 
see what loot we've got here. Well, there's a little bit more obsidian. I've got everything that I need. And there should be a chest here. Perfect. It's got all the obsidian we need. Let's get out of here. My next plan is to go back towards zero, zero. There we go. Not a problem. We're pretty close to the origin right here. It should more or less take me straight to Lamanberg. I don't know if it's Manberg or Lamanberg, but I think Lamanberg sounds better, so that's what we're going with. Yeah, we're not far off. That is where I built my initial tower. Let's see where this stronghold is. It is in this direction. So this is the part that no one has done. At least I don't think anyone's been to the stronghold. One thing I do know for definite, though, is that no one's ever beaten the dragon. It looks as though it's right on this island. According to my calculations, I think it's right here. Yeah, look at that. It's going straight down. And there we go. Oh my goodness, met by two creepers. I also forgot to get wood, so I'm getting it now. The portal room has finally been found. It was a really annoying one to get to. Let's go and put in these eyes. And thankfully, I have just enough. Let's chuck that there and wait for the dragon to perch. I think he's perching already. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that and I've got no pearl. I've got half a heart. I've <laughs> got a totem, no need to worry. Finally, he's perching. Let's do this. Alrighty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a little bit safe, you know, nothing crazy. Perfect. One more bed. And the dragon has been defeated on the Dream SMP seed. Void worlds in Minecraft. Surviving them isn't quite what they were designed for. But if we create one and turn on generated structures, can we then beat the game on hardcore mode? Well today, that's what we're going to do. So here we are in the world. Thankfully, in a void world with structures, villagers can still spawn. And so when loading into the world, it finds the nearest land and just plunks you on top of there. Can we can we mine any lower? I think we're... Yeah, all right. Let's not, let's not mine this block. I'm next, going to make a crafting table and make a bunch of slabs. I think they're going to be my best bet for getting around. Now, this tree is disappearing. The leaves are going, so I don't want to stand on any... They say that one just disappeared. I don't want to stand on any despawning ones. I've just realized this is going to be a way more stressful challenge than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to grab these two logs and then make some tools. I don't know why, but for some reason, all the houses <laughs> don't have floors. I don't know what was going on there. We've got some armor though. I don't know what use the armor is going to have, although the night will be coming, so maybe it'll be useful. The two important things we need to make is an axe and a pickaxe. And now I shall get to work in dismantling this house. I'd say the biggest issue with this whole thing is because there's no floors in these villages, obviously they're over a void, all the mobs like the iron golem, the villagers, have all fallen down, so... It's going to be tricky to find an actual villager anywhere around. And getting iron is also going to be a challenge because obviously I can't kill the golem. I, I think I can only do that through blacksmiths. Although this building is brilliant for getting loads and loads of cobblestone. I've dismantled a lot of this village and I've turned my render distance up to full. And in the distance there is another village. Hopefully it's got some live villagers in it. And there's another one over there just in the distance. <laughs> I tell you what, super high render distance is brilliant. I'm going to attempt to grab this brewing stand. Whether it works, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. Perfect. The night is coming. This is where things start to get a bit worrying. However, I'm pretty sure that villagers should still have beds. Yes, they do. Right, I've got to try and get this bed without anything going wrong because I don't really want to sleep in it in case it spits me out into the void. There we go, we got the bed. Let's take it over here and let's sleep. Place the bed there, get into it. <laughs> All right, we may survive the first night in a void world. Look at that, those mobs over there. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. I've got a lot of slabs, so I'm going to begin making my way to that village over there where there's water. Okay, that's half of what I need. Needless to say, I won't be speed bridging this. I've made it. I'm in the village. It's... It looks like a pretty sorry excuse for a village. It's quite a small one. Is there a villager here? It's an incredibly glitchy thing, isn't it? I see seeds over there. <laughs> if they grow into carrots, then maybe I could use them. Oh, they're growing and, and they're all falling. <laughs> there goes my carrots. Realistically speaking, I think until I find a blacksmith, I'm kind of stuck where I am. So I'm going to have to keep searching villages and eventually I will find one. I've been bridging around trying to spot more villages. There is one over in the distance there. That's the original one. No, that's, that's another one. That's the original one. Probably worth heading over. In fact, is that two villages? It might be. I'm not sure. I spotted that village over there, so I began bridging over to it. But I've realized there's another village right by it, so that's perfect. Surely one of them is going to have a blacksmith. I've run out of slabs another time. This is like six stacks worth of slabs to get here. But I can see a blacksmith in the distance, so it's going to be worth the journey. And the Okay, slimes are starting to spawn on my bridge. At long last, we have made it to this village. Now let's bridge over to the blacksmith. I've made it. I can hear some mobs. I'm guessing they're in like the roof up there, so I'm going to avoid them. Let's see what we've got to offer. Okay, a little bit of obsidian. Thankfully the food, that's the biggest thing. We've got some apples, a bit of obsidian, and yeah, some iron as well. Like it's not as much as I could have had, but it, it'll do. I've got plenty of blocks. I'm going to bridge over to this village and see if I can find anything else. Sadly, imagine if I got all the obsidian. Like it, once I get to the nether, this challenge becomes way, way easier. But until then, it's super hard. 
And I don't even have enough iron to make a bucket, which I still need to make. I've created another path of destruction in this village. I see another one in the distance over there, so that's where we're headed. Sadly, this village also has no blacksmith, but it has hay bale. That's food. And over here, I hear a villager. I don't know where he is, but <laughs> we found life. Here he is. He stood on here, and he is not going to fall. There you go, good sir. You are now completely safe. You have no job, but I could give you a job. I could give you any job I want. He wants to leave. Uh-oh, this could be bad. Do not fall off. I, I don't really know what use I have for him anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some trades that I could do. You know what? You can live on the bridges if you want to. I bet you're dead within a week, mate. Oh, this is life over there. Yeah, they're going to push each other off. I have never been happier to see some food. Perfect. Let's make some bread. It's lovely. <laughs> it's taken me like an hour and a half to get bread. That's, that's a serious problem. I finally found a house with a chest in it. And this bread... Oh, there's potatoes, there's, oh, there's everything I could dream of. Saplings as well. I have no dirt, but I don't any poppies, but that's very, very good indeed. I see two more villages in the distance, so that is where I'm going to head now. So these two villages turn out to be three villages, and the best thing about that village over there is it has a blacksmith, so that is where I'm going to make my way. At long last, I've made it. Now let's see what this chest has to offer. Okay, now then. Oh, we've got seven of Do I need another blacksmith? <laughs> okay, we've got quite a lot of iron as well. Some gold is useful. A bit of armor and one piece of bread. Is that it? I have still got quite a few apples though, so that's handy. I've actually just realized I can make a bucket and with this blacksmith and the other blacksmith, that will be four pieces of lava, which can be four obsidian. So I can make a portal, so we don't have to find another blacksmith, thank goodness. I'm going to chuck some potatoes in here with a bit of wood, get that cooking. I'm going to bridge over here, and I can grab this water. I think it's a wise idea to make two buckets. And if I put this water here, I can go back to the other blacksmith, and then I can grab all the lava. I'm so glad I brought two water buckets, because I tell you what, it is a ridiculously long way from where we were to here. It has taken me so long to run that way. Right, we're going to go back there and make the portal. Finally, we're here, and I've found another village here. <laughs> He's living in it. Yeah, you go, go, go wander the world. You know, it's not much to see, but go and have a great time. I've created a nice platform from this portal. I can't get any gravel, so I'm going to have to light it with outer flint and steel. So if I put this here, I've got to actually think about this. I don't want to put the, uh, the ones that have to be done with water and lava in difficult places. So if I go up the side, one, two, three... Put this on top. I'm going to keep this lava in here for safekeeping. Go and grab some water. Fine, I'll put the lava here and then use the water. It's, it's working perfectly. Fine, this one here, this one here. Right, now we need to light it. But I need to sleep first. It's going dark. And now to light it, we're going to create a contraption like this. And then finally place the lava up there. Hopefully this villager... Yeah, you stay a safe distance. Stay, no, keep out of there. You are crazy if you walk around there. You know what? You're going to get us both killed at this rate, buddy. And there we go. The portal is lit. Perfect. See you later, but No, you're not coming through. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You stay here. And thankfully, super flat worlds always have a normal nether. It is great to be stood on solid ground. Of course, straight away, I am welcomed by piglins. Please get out of here. Okay, that guy actually dropped his chest plate. That's, that's, that's really helpful. I was thinking I was going to have to mine up all this gold, but now I don't need to. And now I have two jobs. First, to find some red mushrooms. And I see some over there. And second, to try and find a bastion so I can get loads of loot. This is a very intense little situation here. I don't think he can reach me now. <laughs> I, I accidentally looked at him and now he is very, very angry. Let's get rid of him. It's in situations like this that I am glad I found this one little dandelion so I can make the best food in the game, Saturation Suspicious Stew. He seems to have disappeared. I'm going to assume he's forgotten about me. It's great when I have to bridge across gaps because <laughs> I've still got so many slabs. And there it is. Up ahead, we have got a bastion. Now, <laughs> there is an issue that I have no iron, so I can't make an iron pickaxe. So I'm going to have to start by looting their chests and hoping to find some iron. So it's two chests so far. I've got nothing, but I do know underneath this chest there will be another one. Let's see what it's got. Still no iron. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of gold, though. Oh, okay, okay, that scared the life out of me. <laughs> I was about to say, you love to see it, free pork chops, but I almost joined it in a way that I didn't want to. I'm not going to place any blocks so I don't want to lose it, but that's nice. Free food. I'm running out of chests here. Still no iron. Just more pointless loot in this chest. The arrows are kind of useful. That is every chest searched in this main section, and I got four nuggets as <laughs> my total amount of iron. But it's actually just as well, since there's no gold blocks in this whole bastion, so instead I'll use it. You, you coming down here, buddy? It just needs a bit of encouragement. <laughs> I think we got some pearls. How many did we get? Only seven. <laughs> I still need a lot more. Oh my goodness. This chest has four gold blocks. I didn't even know that was possible. These guys up here are going absolutely crazy because these pigments. Look, calm down, guys. Here's, here's some gold. There you go. Will that make you all happy? I got rid of them. Uh, oh, there's, there's one left. You would be here, wouldn't you? Let me spleef you out of it. There we go. Sorted. Guys, no need to panic anymore. Sadly, still no pearls, but I did get enough nuggets to make an iron pick. So I can now mine up this gold block and then trade it back to these fellas. I'm giving up and moving on to plan B. I'm going to go back to the overworld, collect some more wood, craft a boat... 
I was about to say, take our Enderman, but <laughs> where this walled forest was, I've already come through it once. There is a Bastion over there, so I might as well just visit that. And this time, I do have an Iron Pickaxe, and it does have gold blocks. So this time, I shall get my pearls. I tell you what, I've gone from absolutely nothing to being absolutely spoiled for choice. I've got 16 pearls there. If I just mine this block here, jump in. Okay, I've got 32 pearls. Can I even get even more? Yeah, I can get... Wait, I've got 48 pearls. You know what, guys? You've done enough. Now, the next quest is to find a fortress. And now that I have ender pearls, it is way, way faster to travel around. And there we go. It's a fortress, literally. The warm forest is just at the top of there. And there's one here. Once I found the first bastion, this actually became a really good seed. The spawner has been found. Let's get our blaze. I've got 15 blaze rods. I feel like that should be enough. I have to now make my way back to my original portal. Even though I've got loads of obsidian, I can't build another one. I just feel like it'd be too much of a risky idea to be miles away from my original portal. We're now back to the overworld. And to be honest, this next bit, it's going to take a long time, but it's going to be fairly easy. I just realised after lighting this portal, I'm now setting the entire village on fire. Don't worry, villagers. Fireman Sam is on the job. I think it might be too little to like. Mate, this is no time for sleeping. I'm burning down a village. Also, look at the amount of mobs that have now spawned. This is the biggest disaster. There's mobs in here as well. I am going to die if I don't do something. Sorry, sir. It's every man for himself. I'm taking this bed and I'm building up. Thankfully, I managed to sleep at the top of here, but it is absolutely crazy. You know, you give them one place to spawn and that's where they'll spawn. Thankfully, the fire has now gone out. A villager, I have heard him, so I think he's still alive. The eye is pointing in the direction minus 14, so that is where we're going to bridge. And this is where I get to monotonously bridge across the entire world. The only good thing about this is when I get near to the stronghold, I will be able to see it because <laughs> there'll be no ground surrounding it. I've run out of blocks, but it doesn't matter because I can now make a cobblestone generator. This is probably the most scuffed cobblestone generator you've ever seen, but hey, it works. I've gone through over two pickaxes. I think for now I've got enough. I've worked out that right about here is 14 degrees from where I started, so I've got to continue 14 degrees in this direction. Guys, I think I have finally found it. I have been bridging for thousands and thousands of blocks. Look, it goes all the way over there. But, no, wait, wait, where is it? There we go. There is the stronghold. We are not much further to go now. Maybe, you know, three, 400 blocks and we can go to the end. Well, it's taken well over five hours, but I'm now at the stronghold. And I can see the portal room over there. <laughs> this makes exploring so much easier. I'm going to build on top of it. Dig this out. All right, I've just got to do nothing stupid now. Let's break that. Perfect. It's gone. I'm going to... Wait, I have no water. Oh, that's going to... Oh, well, get out of here, you. I'm going to drop on him. Create him out. Okay. You should have no more problems with silverfish. I'm going to place the eyes of Ender. There we go. <laughs> We're so close. I can get rid of those now. I can then craft a load of beds. We've got more than enough. And this is it. SB versus the Ender Dragon. I was also clever this time. I got a crossbow and plenty of arrows from the Bastion. So if I mess up the one cycle, which I don't think I can with 13 beds, it's not the end of the world. I think this is it, guys. I think the dragon is perching. Yes. Okay. Let me pearl in. Alrighty. I need to put it on this side. Okay. What could go wrong? Nothing can go wrong here. Let's let's do this. I messed up the first bed by. Don't worry. It's not a massive disaster. I can have another go. I think he's perched again. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am a little bit nervous. I've been playing this for well over five hours. I don't want to screw up. But this time, I'm going to absolutely make sure. Make no mistakes. Here we go. I mean, we're not doing much damage, but we're getting there. Okay. Okay. He's so weak. Can I place that? I've got more beds. I've made an absolute ash of this. All right. Not a problem. I can finish him off with my axe. I almost died there. I am choking this so bad. It's time for plan B. Shoot the towers. It's time for me to stop being stupid and defeat this dragon. There we go. Let's finish it off. So close now. And I have done it. I have beaten Minecraft in a void world. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed. And you may enjoy the video on screen where I beat Minecraft without touching the ground.